Season 4 premiere of Dort Wrestling. Starting out first, we have two announcements from the CEO of DWL, Ebenezer. I wonder what the two announcements are. Oh, a new championship, the world's championship. Oh my god, a hardcore championship? The first match, Angus Maxim versus Angus Maximus? And here Angus Maximus comes. This is crazy. I never thought I'd see these two in a ring again. In the, in the ring with each other, of course. Of course I'd see Angus in a ring. Whoa, what a big threat by Angus the Mad Dog Maximus. All right, our first match, the debut of a wrestler, Burlu the Ancient. They were found frozen in a cave. They were then trained in the ways of martial arts. They are making their Dort Wrestling debut. Her first opponent, however. Girth. A stronger, faster girth than ever before. This is not going to be an easy match for Burlu the Ancient. Shit, 
All right, I forgot to uh, forgot to do that. I'll, I'll have that. Okay, so it's that. Uh, yeah. Okay. Ooh, Burley was starting with a shoulder tackle. Oop, Griff blocks a punch. Going for submission already. In a weird one. Oop, Burley slips out of it. Punch, kick. Going for another kick. Griff catches it. Nice. Fisherman suplex. <clears throat> Briller using that rope to her advantage. Driving Girth's neck down on it. Here's a drop kick by Girth. Ooh, big kicks by Girth. Oh, man. Oh. Jesus Christ, big kick to the back. I was going after the legs. Stomping on that, that inner part of the leg. And Burley was going to throw Girth back in the ring. Take a minute to breathe here. Trying to walk off the, those attacks to the leg. Girth gonna throw her over the rope. Now standing on the apron. There it is again by Burlu. Girth looking for a lariat. Burlu slips it. Irish whip. Ooh, nice kick to the stomach. One. And Girth able to kick out. Burlu looking to bring Girth to the, the corner, but Girth able to not let that happen. Might have been looking for the Brain Buster. Burley was able to slip out of it. Oh, now locking in an arm bar. A little bit close to the ropes. Girth could totally just grab that bottom rope, but she's going to get out of it on her own. Arm drag. We're now just stomping on Burley. Girth's gonna go to the top. Damn! One. Ooh, kick out at one. Here's this submission again. a weird looking submission. Ugh. Really just tackling. Girth. Drop kick. Low drop kick. Girth getting right back up. We're trying to. Burlu is going to knock her back down again. Now going after that arm. Girth's up. Throws her into the ropes. Low. Oh! One. Two. Barely gets the shoulder up. Girth misses. And then misses that. Misses the kick. That, that was a weird looking thing by, by Burlu. Burlu deadlift German suplex. Kick to the face. Oh, 
into Gurry. Now Gurk's looking to finish it. Butterfly Suplex rolls into another one. And the Face Buster. Boom. Boom. <laughs> and that's a rope break. I hate that they call it, even if, like, before it was like, yeah, you can start the pin when their, like, arm is in the ropes, but, um, they call it immediately because the arm wouldn't have been in the ropes after the, the full pin animation started. One, two, because, like, the limbs move. They call rope break immediately. I'm still not sure how I feel about it. Ooh, here's this again. Oh, just another big kick to the chest. Girth. He's looking for something, Burlu. Looking for another deadlift German. Ooh, kind of paused midair. Ooh, nice. Burlu make looking to make a comeback here. Just tacks the back. What's Burlu looking for? Oh my. Holy shit. Oh my god. Holy fuck! <laughs> Half and half suplex from the top. One, two. Holy shit, and Girth kicks out. Oh my god. This is wrestling. Now going after the arm again. Burlu is in control now. And she is going to the top rope. Elbow drop. Ooh. Just a slap to the face. Ooh, drop kick. Girth. Was looking for a big kick to the face, the head, the head. Oh, back in that corner, the same corner. Ooh, takes her head off with that lariat. Could be looking for another elbow drop or perhaps something else. Another elbow drop. Guessed it right the first time. Oh! Just ran straight into it. Going for the pin off at that. It could be it. Two. Oh my god. Burlu just kicking out. What is it going to take? I don't think either of them are going to be able to walk properly after this match. This is the type of match that takes years off of your life. Now going after the leg. Submission, maybe? No, ref's not going to look into it. This weakening... Girth maybe has something planned. Girth rolls to the outside looking for a bit of safety, maybe. But Burlu going for a combo here. 
big punches. Ooh, Griff catches one, replies with one of her own. Ooh. Ref's at a count of five. Let's see if we can get this one back in the ring. Oh, with all the momentum, just a punch to the face, dragging her. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Just knees to the face. That could have knocked Girth out. That could have knocked Girth out. Going for the win off the knees to the head. One, two, oh my god, Girth is alive, Girth is awake, Girth is getting back up. Oh my god. Uh, excuse me. Uh. Oh, Girth. The Girth special. Oh, that's got to be it. That's got to be it. One, two. No, my God. Another one. She's looking for another one. One, two, three. Ah! Oh, my God. All right, it is time for the match we saw was announced earlier in the night. Angus Maximus versus Ebenezer, which is a version of myself. And uh, I'm really, the lighting, it's, <laughs> the eyes just shine. They're really, you see them in the darkness. It's kind of cool. Angus Maximus, they call him the hardcore icon from time to time. Will he be the first hardcore champion? Or will he be leaving in a fucking ambulance? This is an ambulance match. And here comes the CEO, the leader of this shit, Ebenezer. Uh, I can't think of anything else to say. Former Supreme Champion. Beat in Schnaz for it and then lost it to the Milkman. I don't even know if he had any defenses.
And of course, here comes the ambulance. I don't know how these matches simulate. Uh, this could be a long one. <laughs> All right. Those are the rules. Uh, you got to put your opponent in an ambulance, and that's what it's all for. The hardcore championship. Who will be the first? Oh shit, I forgot to change it. <laughs> so, I was so locked in on that match, I forgot to go back to the, that last match, that I forgot to go back to the settings and um, change that. I will do it after this match. Ebenezer, uh, Angus throws Ebenezer into the corner. He's looking for a bulldog, Ebenezer throws him off. And we're going to the outside of the ring where I imagine we will stay. Grabbing a share, this is an <laughs> This is gotta be filled with weapons. If you are not a fan of that type of match, you are in the wrong place, I'm afraid. Well, for this match at least. Please don't go. Please. Please don't stop watching. Please. <laughs> Please. The average viewer retention time is like 42 seconds. <laughs> You're probably not even here. <laughs> Unless you are, which, hey, how you doing? Holy shit, what the fuck? <laughs> Damn. Ooh, elbows to the, the stomach. Nice suplex to the outside, the, on the outside of the ring, not to the outside, because it is already, they're already an outside, can't be to the outside, if they're already outside. And they're going to be fighting on top of the ambulance. Ebenezer. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god, onto the share! Oh, fate. oh my god, was that on the share too? Oh my god. Jesus Christ! Just... <laughs> so many moves that may or may not be landing Angus on that share. And now... <laughs> There's him in there! Gonna try to close it now. Who gets the first door? Ooh, Angus gets out. There's gonna be a lot of that. Get ready for that animation like 10 times. Now Angus is in control. Ooh, dropping the knee on the face. Is Angus looking for a weapon? And every time this championship is defended, it will be in some sort of extreme rules match. Fucking casket matches. Um... Slim Jim death matches. 
which I'm excited for the first one of those. Maybe the first defense of this championship will be that. Ah, uh, can't believe they added Slim Jims as a weapon in this game. It's fucking awesome, man. Angus to the top. Can't believe we're back in the ring. Ooh, is looking for a splash funky style. Ebenezer turns it around. Oh my. Oh shit, just like four headbutts. Throws him out the ring. Here we go again. Love that. Just throw him in there head first. All right. Back to the, the test of strength that this is. He gets that one closed a lot faster. Angus kicks them open again. Ebenezer yeah, dodges a punch. Ooh. Now he's looking looking for something oh shit caught the Hajime caught the Hajime Ang Angus gets out fucking love the Kata Hajime man and now Angus Angus is turned to try to get him in there no, Ebenezer not gonna let that happen. Not gonna let that slide. This shit ain't nothing to me, man. <laughs> Ooh, rear naked choke. It would be a whole lot easier if you you know your opponent was knocked out. It just oh, you know, you know. You know? Oh, Angus! Why'd you let him do that? Oh my god! Angus! Someone let him do that to you! Oh shit! <laughs> Three shots in the head! <laughs> Brain damage city, bro! <laughs> Oh, dropping the knee on the face. Now Angus, he's got to try to get him back over to the ambulance. Swinging, what the fuck? He's right back up after that swinging netbreaker DVT. Maybe looking for another Kata Hajime. A fucking shovel. Just kept missing. Oh my god! Got the Hajime. Angus taps, but that's not going to do anything. Why are you closing it? Maybe looking for a low drop pick there, but misses it. Dragon screw. And now we're getting back in the ring. 
Oh, knee to the head. Both men missing their move. Oh, Mad Dog drop kick to the knee. Oh, but it took a lot out of Angus. Now he rolls up. Crowd chanting one more time. They will probably get it one more time. Now he's just got to get Ebenezer out there and into that ambulance. Ooh, clubbing blow to the back. One to the face now. Ooh, hook kick to the stomach. Swinging neck breaker. All right, we're getting back to the outside. Ebenezer just scooping up Angus, throwing him in there like a dart. There's the first door. Oh, it's over. We have our first hardcore champion. And it is the CEO of the Dort Wrestling League, Ebenezer. That was a good match. In our first round one of the tournament tournament match, oh, it is going to be Adolf Hitler versus the Dort Wrestling Grand Prix champion, Eligio Bishop. Crowd booing Adolf Hitler, as they should, <laughs> as they should. <clears throat> and here he. Comes the three god, the Grand Prix champion, Eligio, the nature boy bishop. This is not a championship match. Adolf Hitler has not earned one. <clears throat> of course, if whoever wins goes on to round two of the tournament. God damn it. I was so locked in, I forgot to do it again. Goes on to round two of the tournament to crown the first ever DWL World's Champion. Will it be Eligio Bishop or Adolf Hitler that moves on to round two? Hurricane Rana was like a dragon runner because he did like a little flip first. Ooh, forearm. Leg DDT by Eligio Bishop. He was recently sentenced to life in prison in real life.
for charges of rape, revenge porn, and imprisonment. Because he, like, sort of kidnapped someone. But, in Dort Lore, he is the, the, the Grand Prix champion. A much better fate than life in prison. It, Hitler kicks him off. Slams his head into that turnbuckle. Hitler. Ooh, Dragon Sleeper. One. Kick out. Obviously. Ooh, sweeps the leg. Locks in the submission here. Collegio rolls over. Punches to the face. Adolf Hitler is bleeding. Oh, shit. Low blow. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I burped. And here it is. The carbon kick. Bazinga. One. Two. No. Hitler kicks out. Fight forever. Uh, chance from the crowd. Uh. <laughs> Not sure if I want to see Hitler on my screen for too long. <laughs> One. Two. Oh, Hitler picks him off. Ooh. Frozen. Legio standing up in that corner. Oh, and here is a nice, quick combo. Nice DDT. Drops the knee. Drops the knee again, but misses. Ooh, ouchie, ouchie. But he's right back in charge, in control. Now going after that leg, picking up the pace here. Throws him into the rope. Drops down. Ooh, was looking for something. Hitler reverses it. Now Hitler sends him into the rope. Ooh. Oh, hit Kip up. He was looking for a kick. He was looking for a kick. He was looking for a kick. <laughs> uh, was that the setup for the Hitler kicks, or was he just was that just a normal kick? Looked like the setup. Oh, there it is. Connects this time. I guess Eligio just checked the kick with those first three times. The Hitler kicks. Bang! The final one. Big roundhouse kick to the head. That's ended many a match. Will it end this one? One. Two. No. Oh, kip up by Legio Bishop. He's right back up. He's looking for a springboard. Hitler catches him. Hitler sends him off the ropes. Oh, spine buster. Hitler taunting Legio Bishop. Now stomping at the legs. And Hitler's going to go to the top rope. Elbow drop. By Hitler. Ooh! He's gonna have trouble walking after that one. Now, Eligio Bishop. Ooh, drop kick to the head. Maybe the back. Ref at a count of four. Eligio Bishop's gonna go back inside and wait for Hitler. Hopefully Joe's done waiting. I'm gonna try to speed him up maybe. Oh, Hitler. Some kicks by Hitler. Holy Joe. Back suplex.
Throws him into the barricade. And he's still targeting that leg. match has been a lot more technical than I thought it would be. Ooh! What's that? What's... Ooh, let's look for a running attack into the corner. Misses it. Sends him off the rope. Drops down. Hurricane Rana! Ooh, stomps at the elbow. And now is he looking for the carbon kick? Snapmare. Bazinga! That's gotta be it. One. Two. No! Nice DDT. One, two, three. The DJ Bishop moves on to round two. And we're moving on to our second championship match of three. Shut up, Mike Robe. We can't hear you. And here comes the former champion. Girth beat her, and then in the triple threat at Dort Mania, Blue beat Girth. And that is who Red Red Man will be fighting Blue 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 Blue, blue, blue Man, her sister. <clears throat> it was a great match last time they fought. And now I think it'll be even better. New design for the Women's Championship. It's now called the Women's World Championship. I made it look like the... It's a little bit of a spoiler, but I made it look like the... The World's Championship for the Men's Division. A little bit of spoiler for what it looks like, but... It's got the names of every Women's Champion on there. Blue Blue Man being the most recent... It's got Scoo, Girth, Mildred, Red Red Man. And now Blue Blue Man on there. Closer look at it. Women's World Championship. Last time they met in the ring in singles competition was Blue Blue Man was the winner, and at that triple threat match, Blue Blue Man was the winner. Red Red, it looked like Red Red Man let Blue win. Just stood on the apron while Blue pinned Girth. God damn it, I forgot to do it again. I, 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 I'm not gonna do it, probably. <laughs> I'll just do that every time. I'll get it for the next episode. Ooh. Uh, just the knee. <laughs> just... Ooh, double foot stomp by Blue. 
He's looking for a kick to the chest. Dragon screwed by Red. Ooh. Bazinga! It's a cool looking move. <clears throat> Red, blue is looking to send red into the corner, but red sends blue into the corner, and now we're going to the outside. It's a filling out process right now. Before we get into the real meat of this match. Both just trying to figure out their standings in this match. Blue slams are down. Now just punches to the face. Back in the ring. Blue sends right into the corner. Ooh, is looking for something. Red slips out. Ooh, cross body. Going for the win off the crossbody. One. Not even a one. Off the ropes. Woo! Got some air on that one. Off the ropes again. Slips down. Woo! This is a, a knee to the stomach or maybe the kitchen sink, perhaps? Now going after that arm. Bulldog. Whoa. That looks pretty cool. Blue blue man looking to fly. Suicide dive misses. Because red moved out of the way. Ooh, inverted DDT. Now a kick to the back. Drops the leg. They're going to get back in the ring. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know what to call that. Now just some more punches in the face. Ooh, stomping the face. Knee to the face. Looking for something. Red gonna elbow. And now he's a combo. Face buster. Blue maybe looking for the Pele kick. Bang! There it is. He's beat Red with that move before. Will it do that now? One. Two. No. Alright. Now going after the arm. Ooh, roll up by Red. One. Kick out. Ooh, Lariat. Hip toss. Now it's stomping the, at the back. Pulling the arm. Oh, shit. Discus Lariat. One, two. Just gets the shoulder up at the last second. 
Red Red Man to the top. What is she looking for? Elbow drop. Ooh, kick to the face. He's looking for a stomp. Drop kick. Blue Blue Man back in control. Hip toss. Ooh, crucifix driver. Oh, I don't think that was the big one, but didn't have the proper mustard applied, but it's still a big move. Oh, was looking for a diving leg drop. Blue moves out of the way. That's a big ass leg to be landing on your neck. Ooh, drops the knee onto the face. Ooh. They are not holding anything back. Now we're getting back in the ring. Raph had a count of five. Red getting in last. Oh, shit! Rope break. Now she's looking for the Pele kick. Oh, Lariat! Ooh, knee drop to the face. And now she's looking for it again. Whoa! A lot of mustard on that one. Discus Lariat. Two. No! Sorry about that, I got a call on my cellular device. I'm probably cutting out that little pause, but... Uh, I was paused for a second, just like 10 seconds. Now Blue's in control. DDT. Ooh. One. Uh, counting. Two. One. No, it's one again because, you know, the blue went outside. Sends Blue back in the ring. Red follows. Locked up. We're going into this corner. Blue is looking for a punch. Blue catches it. Drops down. Oh, the ref gets hit. Jawbreaker. Stomp. Other foot stomp. Back and forth. Oh! What the fuck? Blue Blumen. Right back up. Oh, what is Red Red Man doing? This is blasphemous.
you're you're gonna cost yourself the match. <laughs> that could have been it. But the ref wasn't gonna be there, but Blue reversed it anyway. Oh, German suplex. The ref's back. One, two, no. <laughs> Lariats sweeps the leg. Off of that. One, two, kick out. Oh my god. Oh my god. Will we have a new women's champion? Discus Lariat. Cover. One, two. No, my god. Blue kicks out. Blue kicks out. This is wrestling. Red, red man to the top. Elbow drop. Knee drop. Just drop everything. Kick to the back. Another knee drop. Sliding under. Oh, the bottom rope. Oh, she gets knocked off the apron. Blue getting a little breather. Woo! Off of that, could it be it? One, two, three. We have a new women's world champion. Once again, champion is Red Red Man. What a match. What a fight. All right. <clears throat> it's for the Triple Crown Championship, our last championship match of the night. What an episode this has been. And here comes Ratman Zerg. He has a goatee now. What a guy. He looks a little different. It is very hard to make him. He's looked different in every season he appears. Because uh, it's hard to make the face exactly what it was like in the previous game. So he looks a little different. Ah, I didn't change the, the presentation options again, so I'm going to do that at the start of the match again. And I'd skip it because uh, the Undertaker's entrance is a real Undertaker. It's going to take a while. I'm probably going to skip it because it's like a three-minute, two-minute entrance. I'm not a big fan of the long entrances. But here he comes. He won it at Dortmania. The Triple Crown Championship. The Interdimensional, the Supreme, and the Slobberknocker Championships all combined into one. And he holds it.
All right. Here is Ratman Jerd. The Undertaker. Oh, my Undertaker. Uh, both men coming in at the same height, but you got to imagine Ratman Jerk has the strength advantage, the size advantage because of how huge he is. All right, let me, before this match truly starts, let me just. Oh my god! <laughs> imagine if that fucking ended it. You got a you got a one count from that. Ooh. Good stomp. Leg drop. Oh, Samoan drop. Ratman jerk. Leg drop. I'm a big fan of the Undertaker, but this could be Ratman Jerk's time. DDT. Woo wee! Spikes him on the head. Drops him on the just fucking head first on that DDT. That was crazy. Now just cranking the neck, cranking that hog. What? Right, man, jerk getting back inside. Right, man, jerk just stalking his prey. Ooh, Lariat. Drop. Ratman sends him into the ropes. Drops down both times. Ooh, misses. Excuse me. I don't know why I've been burping so much. Oh my god, headbutt. I dropped to the arm. Ooh. Loving at the back. Another lariat. Big dive by The Undertaker. Ooh, punching the face. Leg drop. A lot of leg drops in this match. Elbow drop. A lot of drops in this match. Ooh.
Ooh. Big boot Ratman Zerg just tanks it though. Leg drop to the arm again. Going for the win off of that. One. Kick out at one. Leg drop. Punch his head, but ooh. Drops the leg. Stomping at the, the hand of the Undertaker. Woo! He's looking for something like the Senton. Undertaker rolls out of the way. We're getting back in the ring. Ratman Jer gonna get back in, see if he can get back in safely. Oh! This pulls him into a big lariat. Kick to the back. Now. Oh shit. Oh. One. Two. Oh. Pick out by the Undertaker. Leg drop misses. The battle of the leg drops. A, the, a leg drop better finish this match. Look for a belly to belly, maybe. Undertaker's gonna slip out of it. A few punches in the face. Oh shit. Tombstone pile driver. Gets the shoulder up. Not gets the arm on him. And Ratman Joe gets the shoulder up. <laughs> Oh my god, just headbutted the ding ding, the ding dong. Boston Crab here. Grabs the leg and able to slip out. He's looking for it again, gets kicked off. And take a rings the arm. Oh shit, is he looking for a bit of old school? The Undertaker just taught the Ratman Zerg a lesson, and now he is looking for the Tombstone Pile Driver one more time to finish the match. The Undertaker's got him up. Tombstone Pile Driver! Gets the arm on him. One, two, no! Undertaker, elbow drop from the middle rope, misses. Ratman Jerg throws him into the corner. What's he looking for? Nothing, because Undertaker reverses it. Undertaker, gonna choke him with his foot. Maybe Ratman Jerg's a little into that. Who knows? Again. Ooh. Mm -hmm. 
Undertaker calling for Jared to get up. Ooh, double axe handle. Punches in the face. Stomp to the face. Was it for a stomp to the back of the head? Ratman Jared reverses it. Ooh, looking at the back. Knees to the stomach. And now he's looking for something. The burning hammer. Bang! That's gotta be it. One. Two. No. Kick to the back. Jerk is looking to fly. Can rats fly? The rat man can, but he misses. Leg drop like a guillotine. Oh my god. Finish the job. Two. No. Oh, big dive, he misses. He's a little off target. Jerk coming too. He's got to be really confused why Undertaker's there now. Mm. Oh, Bulldog. Ref had a count of six. Let's get this one back in, boys. Why are you going for submission? You need to get back in the ring. Ratman Jerga is the winner, but he is not the champion. We're going to have to have a rematch. Next time on Door Wrestling League. Oh my god. But it's time for our main event. Main event time. It is time to continue the greatest rivalry in Door Wrestling history. In the fourth season. Here is the Dingler. Uh, excuse me. God, Jesus, why am I burping so much? Let's go. That guy in the crowd is excited for this. You must be a real dingler head. Pretends to take off his hat. And it is time for the greatest of all time in Schnoz. Six time Supreme Champion, the most in history. last season he was not successful in gaining it back but at the main event of Dort Mania he defeated Jazzy Jerry in three minutes a return to form for Enchnaz maybe maybe that little rough spot he was in that rough patch maybe he is back from it 
maybe he will be even more dominant than ever before in this season. But his first challenge is the Dangler. And this is round one of the tournament to crown the world's champion. The winner will move on to round two to fight Eligio Bishop. And I gotta change the presentation options. Next time on Dort Wrestling League, we will have two more first round matches. Rear naked choke from Inch Nas. Dingler, a little bit of a stunner kind of thing. Nothing gets him more excited than Enchnaz versus the Dangler. Slams him down. Loving the back. Stomping the arm. Oh, big knee by the Dingler. The Dingler is in control now. Never mind, Inchnaz and Zaguri. Cover. One. Kick out. Dingler getting back up to his feet. And Inchnaz going to throw him into the rope. Ooh, kitchen sink. Elbows to the stomach by the Dingler. Big combo sends it off, ends it with the knee to the side of the head. One kick out by Inchnaz. Off the ropes. Ooh. Sends him flying into the air. Inchnaz gonna go to the top. Elbow drop. It will go on outside. I hope this one doesn't end by count out. Oh, there it is again. Big knee lift. Gord Buster. <clears throat> Sends him down. Throws the Dingler into the bear cave, looking for a big boot, misses. Ooh. Sends him crashing into the bear cave. What was he going for? I don't like how close we are to a count out. Just get back in the ring. Don't walk around. Just get back in the ring. Oh, the kick. Oh, it rhymes with Nick. Kick. One, two. The Dingler kicks out. Pitch and sink again. The Dingler has not won a match since returning, but we're in a new season, so the rankings, like the records, like win-loss records are reset. And there it is again. And uh, One, two. Holy shit, he kicks out. Now, uh, the Dangler's got an uphill battle now. He survived two what rhymes with Nick kicks, but he's got to he's got to crawl his way back into this. Rolling to the outside, looking for some sort of safety. Elbow drop misses. 
Oh, he must have been playing possum there. Drawing the Inchnaz and for a mistake. Hook kick. The Dingler gets back in the ring. I'm gonna let Inchnaz back in. The Dingler, what's he looking for? Fireman's carry position. Ooh, sends him onto that top rope. And now Inchnaz back in control, sends the Dingler into the ropes. Kitchen sink again. Oh, the Dingler. Getting back up to his feet. Punch to the stomach. Springboard. Forearm. What was he looking for? He doesn't connect with it. And Schnauz looking for a suplex. Yes. Goes out immediately. Oh, roll up, please, please. Oh, and Schnauz kicks out in the 4 1. Oh, kick to the stomach, kick to the back of the head. Oh, roll up by Inchnaz. One, two. Oh, Dingler kicks out. Come on. Come on, Big Dingle. Oh, record me. Kamagoye. One, two. Oh, and Schnauz kicks out. Oh my god. Oh, shot by the Dingler. Shot by Inchnaz. Back and forth. This is wrestling. Back and forth we go. Inchnaz. Shot by Inchnaz. Dingler catches it. And Dingler misses. Inchnaz. Another shot. Inchnaz. Oh. Bang. Oh, the Dingler. Oh. Dingler catches it. The thing is not asking for more. Oh, we got a hockey fight. Back and forth blows. One. Oh my god. Thou has been tingled. One. Two. Ah! <laughs> oh. Back and forth. This means so much to these two. The greatest rivalry of all time. I have fucking shield shields. Oh my god. I believe in the Dingler. I believe in the Dingler. I know he can get it done. Oh my god. Kick to the back. Oh shit, he's got that look in his eyes. He's feeling young tonight. Oh. Kamagoye. But he's got to get Inchnaz back in. Why are you doing it on the outside? That has been Dingwolf. Get him back in and pin him. Get him back in and pin him. Come on. One. Two. No. Springboard forearm smash. Oh. 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 Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! He's gotta do it! He's gotta do it! He's gotta do it! He's gotta do it! He gets the arm up! He gets the arm up! Oh! One! Two! Three! 
The Dingler is beating us! The Dingler is beating us! The Dick took everything, but the Dingler has done it! The greatest match of all time! The greatest match of all time! Oh my god! Fucking main event! This has been the Door Wrestling League Season 4 premiere! I'll see you on the next episode!